And we're back, guys. Welcome to Good Energy. We report on tennis. Good Energy reporting on tennis. We have a developing story here. Lena Noskova taking out on Jabur here in the first set. Well, almost. She has broken on Jabur, ladies and gentlemen. And she right now is putting it on on Jabur. Even though she's got two double faults, ladies and gentlemen, she's winning 74 percent of her first service points unbelievable she's winning the exchanges with one of the best shot makers in the game on Jabur. her second serve is a little sloppy only winning uh 40 percent of her second serve points but most of her damage is coming from the first serve now she has saved all four breakpoint opportunities that on Jabur has put her under she is big time now you may recall look I've said I've only seen a few matches from Lena Noskova. Uh, I did predict the Alicia Parks match with her. But the reality here is other than that, I really haven't watched her briefly in the juniors. Right now on tour, she is the big story, guys. She has been chopping down the list of who's who, you name it. She has been beating him. Look, Lena Noskova has taken out Victoria Azarenka. She's taken out Claire Lou. She's taken out Kasakina, Anastasia Podpova, and Anna Kalinskaya. That is a hit list, a Russian hit list. She is beating them all. Anja Burr in the first set, only winning 63% of her first serves, 50% of her second serves. She has been under five breakpoint opportunities from Lena Noskova. Now, listen, guys, I said in the previous videos, what I've noticed about Linda is really she's really blasting her forehand at literally your shoelaces. She's blasting it down low at your ankles, making it tough to return. When I watched Claire Lou play Linda, she was hitting the ball wide, long, and in the stands, up in the air, everywhere but on the court. Linda's got a very good forehand, and look, she is not playing tennis with you. A lot of time in tennis, uh, players will, look, they'll return to set up their shots. Linda is very aggressive. She goes for her winner straight from the from the start to be honest with you and it really pressures opponents put them in a lot of tough situations where they just can't return she is very aggressive uh i've also stated though i've noticed i don't think she's the best returner but she is a good two-way player she loves to mix it up get opponents towards the net on the move and that is very very calculated now I, i've said time and time again with with tennis you never really know where the ball is going to be. So a lot of player success you can really determine comes from the gym, their effort that they put into their craft. Uh, once you're on the court, however, you are what you are. A lot of players resort to their tendencies. And a lot of players, there are certain shots they just can't make, which is why you see a lot of players when they're forced to produce a particular type of shot they can't produce that shot or that outcome. So just watching Linda play, she is very, very well versed. Uh, she can make a lot of shots. And this is why I say all the time, this is why players like Iga has dominated the tour and she's having so much success because she's so much better than opponents. We're talking about footwork, her ability to close out. We're talking about her mid range game her mid range game. She can baseline. She can she can play the net. Uh, her serve is very accurate. She's got a good forehand. Uh, she's got a good backhand across the court. And she's such a good shot maker. She can literally return all areas of the court. Iga is the best returner in the game, guys. Check out the numbers. Uh, she's the the best server in terms of accuracy. Now, when I see a match where she's taking on someone like Jessica Bigula and she can't even get the ball in play, she's not able to close out. These are all signs that tell me that she's not she's not accustomed to that court yet you know having to fly in late and play a semi-final look i've watched all of Iga's matches and i can tell you that she was at a disadvantage yesterday she her movement was not there her footwork was not there i said it look she looks slow today and the reality here is yes you're looking at the results of someone that was forced to play a game 
and conditions that did not favor her. And this is a fact. And if you watch tennis, you can understand this. If, if you don't really watch tennis, you're not going to understand why it's important for a tennis player to come out on the court and practice. You know, why it's important. You know, you ever heard about a, a home and away advantage? Yes, there is something like that, you know. And especially when you're accustomed to a court, you know, or a surface, and you bring someone in that hasn't got adjusted to that court or surface, that is an advantage. That's a big time advantage. But right now, breaking story, guys, on Jabur broken in the first set. Stay tuned.